An octopus are more than smart enough to aim their malice at people. As researchers will tell you, sometimes octopus will oh, purposely oh take- Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> that uh, on him, I just felt like I got on the fuck. <laughs> Camel's bad habit can put him put you in a coffin. Let's get him in. <laughs> right, I'll just check the camera, yeah? Okay. That that's not dead, chat. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> oh, oh Oh. Oh, he was dead, but not the homie. Good stuff. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Gifter, but thank you. Can I get a yes, gifted. sir? I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, I'm a, I'm a mute notifications for right now. You know they say an average of 183,671 people are added to God's recently deleted folder every day. Some of those people retired Wait, from how life, many and 71 people, people are added. You know they say an average of 183,670 183,000 people a day? 71 people are added to God's recently deleted folder every day. Some of those people retired from life in some of the most outrageous ways possible. For example, vending machines and coconuts sell more real estate in cemeteries than the headliner of Jaws. But what if a can of soda was responsible for ending your way of life without you ever even drinking it? Well, Richard Molesky was the owner of the Tulum Monkey Sanctuary in Mexico, and yes, a can of carbonated diabetes is why I said was. Chicago-born Molesky was a natural animal lover who worked at the sanctuary for well over a decade, where he would become close with a lot of the animals, but especially a male dromedary camel whose name was never released to the public. And every morning while doing rounds, Richard would greet the hum jockey with a can of Coca-Cola. Like clockwork, Richard would show up and the camel would enjoy his favorite soft drink. Well, one day Molesky didn't have it and from the way that- Wait, why are you giving a camel fucking Coca-Cola's Coca every day? Now I see why, hey, you fucking with that Coke, Coke you fucking with the camel's caffeine at that the point. The camel reacted, you would think we were talking about a different kind of Coke. The camel proceeded to maul him and even sat on him, which likely suffocated him. It took a rope tied to a pickup truck to pull the steroid llama off of him, but as you can guess, by the time they did, he was- well, a was. Of course, we'll never know exactly what went down because it was between someone who can't talk and someone who won't. But there's- Oh, nah. Yo, that is- That is some of the- That is the worst- The most absurd way I ever heard someone pass, perish. You got sat on and mauled by a camel because you didn't have a Coca-Cola for it that day. Wow. There's a good chance a coca coked out camel can demand over some sugar water. And I believe it because camels 100% be on that kind of timing. Like they're chill 90% of the time, it's just that 10% where someone ends the day on a- I almost spit out my drink. Oh my god, damn. Yo, god. Yo, god damn. Yo, he a newspaper. Like one time in Rajasthan, in- Ninety percent of the time, it's just that ten percent. Yo, he's done. He's done. <laughs> he's done. Bro. Someone ends a day on a newspaper. Oh my god! Like one time in Rajasthan, India, a man was entertaining guests in his home when he realized he parked his camel outside in a brutal one hundred and ten degrees so that's heat. How that's forty three degrees Celsius for the rest of the world. Well, apparently, six hours of sun only breeds homicidal intent because as the man tried to untie the camel, the camel <laughs> suplexed him and slammed it into the ground. Oh my god! The camel god. then proceeded to divorce the man's head from his body using his teeth. It took about twenty five people and several hours just to get the camel. Look at the inside of its fucking mouth. It's like they were born crackheads. Oh, ugh, bruh. Look at this. Oh, this is gross. This is real fucking gross right now. I ain't gonna lie. Camel to stop ravaging his owner's corpse. That's why you don't beef with something that chews on. <laughs> wait, wait, chat. Well, at least. <laughs> well, at least we don't ask. <laughs>
will end several hours just to get the camel to stop ravaging his owner's corpse. That's why you don't beef with something oh that chews God. on cactuses like candy. Because some animals oh are God. very much capable of seeking revenge, and camels are very much on that list. Which shouldn't really be a surprise since high intelligence means some animals have the capacity to experience every human emotion. Which includes putting the dick in vindictive. Even something like an ant can have as much of a revenge arc as a human. Kidnapping and slavery aren't foreign concepts to ants, as some species will regularly invade the nests of others, slaughter the workers, and Let's abduct the larvae of the enemy. These captive ants are forced to bring food to their masters, care for the brood, and even defend the nest of the very ants that kidnap them. While in many cases, these slave ants grow up and proceed to destroy as many of the colony's babies as possible. Pretty much, they jango a daycare's worth of the pupae of the ants that stole them. In some cases, up to two-thirds of the colony were relieved from life by the former slave ants. It's like what I've always said, fuck? if ants had nukes, they'd end the entire world in a weekend. And if they were human-sized, our president would have six legs. And honestly, ant society is just a video of its own. We are talking about an animal that has a species that'll turn itself into a tactical just to stop the ops from succeeding. Ant society- What in the fuck? Yo, nah. Nah, yo, these, yo, these niggas is built different. It's something out of a simulation. And with a game like the Ants Underground Kingdom- Hey. Do I smell a sponsor? I do. I sniffed it out. Let me go ahead and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Get your bread, big dog. Get your bread. Get your bread. Let me. <laughs> okay. Don't. There's a lot of animals capable of premeditating and executing acts of revenge. Like you probably already know that crows can remember faces and carry grudges for up to and sometimes over five years. But they'll also pass down their prejudices to their children, so you could really catch a feathery fade over something you did to his crow father. The what? flip side is that crows also remember those who did right by them. So if I ever happen to get arrested, it'll likely be for using Wendy's fries to weaponize crows. But I'd advise you not to underestimate the carnage that comes with beefing with the Black Air Force of the Sky. Once upon a time, a man named Shiva Kawat attempted to save a baby bird he found near his home. Despite his best efforts, the chick didn't make it. And even though his intentions were good, all the neighboring crows saw was a past tense baby crow in his hands and that's when violence was selected. For the next three years, he'd get air jumped every time he left his house by a homicide of crows. Like to the point where he has scars and has to travel with a stick to protect himself against the aerial onslaught. So basically, if he would have let that baby crow expire, his quality of life would probably be high. Oh my god. Yo. Yo. What? Imagine trying to do the right thing and you suffer the consequences for three years. Three years? Higher. Expiration of life is the only conclusion when you beef with a buffalo. I'm gonna keep this brief because I've talked about them before, but basically the K buffalo is a 1200 pound John Wick. Not only will injured buffalo literally die trying to drag you down with him, just like crows, the Cape Buffalo will ride for theirs. In 2020, trophy hunter Claude Clayhunts took down a massive male Cape Buffalo. But as he and his crew started loading the sole evacuated buffalo onto his truck, another buffalo from the same herd pulled up and gored him, in the groin no less, which severed his femoral artery and sealed his fate. There have been reports of these trench cows chasing hunters into trees and then camping under the trees just waiting to cut them from Earth's roster. Oh and like my I God. said, it's not just humans getting hunted. Since Cape Buffalo have been known to Uno reverse lions by waiting for Yo. the adults to- Yo, this nigga is wait. Look how he look how he's standing back there. He's waiting for the fade. He said, "Try me if you want to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you down. <laughs> Come over here if you want, yo." The way this man is lurking is crazy. They would, yo. He's standing like this next to a school. They're calling the police. They're, <laughs> yo. Nah, he's standing crazy. Horned in the dick is crazy. Stop! To go off on hunts just so they can turn the unsupervised lion cubs into wet spots. If elephants don't forget, then the Cape Menace doesn't forgive. And you'd be surprised at just how many animals are smart enough to pay you what you're owed. Like, I bet you weren't expecting Octopus to be in a video like this. Well, roll the tape. Hey, psst. I'm not one to, uh, gossip, but I heard you wasn't following me on Twitter and Instagram. And you wasn't updated when I wasn't able to post on YouTube and you thought I was gone. So follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's that simple. Enjoy the rest of it. Damn! <laughs> it turns out octopus and some fish will work together to hunt, and the squidwards of the sea will occasionally uppercut their co-workers to keep them from cheating them out of food. It's also believed that the octopi that have been exploited in the past are more trigger-happy with their tentacles. Of course, there's Yo, also a good oh, chance not, that octopi really might taste fish purely out of spite, but punishing someone for someone else's crime technically still counts as revenge. Also, cephalopods can be just as spiteful with each other. Like here, where a female octopus got tired of a male trying to mate with her, so she proceeded to throw silt on his face. An octopus are more than smart enough to aim their malice at people. As researchers will tell you, sometimes octopus will oh, purposely oh take- Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god! <laughs> that shit is- uh, Queefs on him, nigga!
the I just felt like I got queefed on the fuck that shit that Jesus bro I felt like I felt like all that shit was just on me oh my god oh god that is that's fucking gross Jesus as researchers will tell you sometimes octopus Jesus. will purposely take aim and squirt ink at the very scientists studying Ew. them not only that but they'll often have specific people that they like to pick on one octopus in an aquarium in Dorset, England, got into the habit of super soaking anyone who would walk past his tank. Another octopus in a Santa Monica Pier aquarium flooded the place after she disassembled a valve in her tank, sending 200 gallons of water rushing onto the exhibit and office floors. And Otto the octopus flashed his middle finger to humanity when he squirted water on a nearby spotlight, short-circuiting the entire aquarium's electrical system. Workers would fix it in the morning, but since Otto would do it at night when no one was around, it took a while for him to be found out. And of course, there was that time a YouTuber tried to live stream herself eating an octopus, but the only thing he fed her was an L. So yeah, octopus have the intelligence to be on timing. But at <laughs> least with them, the worst case is property damage or a suction cup to the face. Things get a lot worse when you piss off the next animal. Cause tigers are by far the most vengeful animals on the planet. Like the lengths they'll go to get even is what movies are written about. Like in 1997 when poacher Vladimir Markov shot a tiger and then stole part of its kill. His mistake was leaving the tiger with a pulse. That tiger would get him back, but it wasn't in the heat of passion like the camel. Nah, this jaw was premeditated. The tiger would stake out Markov's cabin and destroy anything that had the hunter's scent on it. About a day or two later, Markov would return to his cabin where he would be ambushed by the same big cat. That story ended around the same time Markov did, after he was dragged into the bushes and never came out. In a Yo, so the nigga vandalized his home, waited for him to get there, and still beat his ass. No, I off this top for real god damn see this is why hey listen this is why we don't fuck with animals like like you know what i'm saying listen we let them do they thug dizzle and we get the fuck on you know what i'm saying get get the fuck you know what i'm saying we we because listen another story a poacher named baby got put in the dirt yo what did i say i said something sus by a male tiger in march know. of 2016 why is that date important well, only a month before, he had marked the female tiger in the same area, leading many to believe that the tiger that packed him up was actually the mate of the cat he had killed. And if you need more proof that a tiger taking a personal leads to cuts on the census, the tigress at Champawat literally subtracted 436 people after one hunter severely injured her. But don't think these stories only happen in Asia. Good. On Christmas Day 2007 in the San Francisco Zoo, three men effed around and two found out. As for the third, well, you can't get a life lesson if you don't have a life. The three men had decided to taunt Tatiana, a 400-pound female Siberian tiger. Well, they learned two things that day. One is that a motivated tiger can jump well over 12 feet. And two, the 12 and a half foot moat wall wasn't to keep the tiger in, but to keep people out. Because apparently, out was always an option for Tatiana, who Super Mario jumped out of the enclosure and put the beats on all three men, maiming two of them and turning the third into a chalk outline. So Jesus. yeah, a wild tiger might be the last animal you want to find out with in India, but a close second might be monkeys. Especially since monkeys and dogs have seemingly gone to war against each other. War is debatable because allegedly the monkeys massacred the dogs. According to residents, some monkeys even took to snatching puppies, carrying them up to a roof, and then letting gravity catch the body. Oh, yeah. And if you believe this story, they, then you believe that this- They were doing that shit earlier. They were doing that with puppies, and then they also started doing it with fucking- With, with fucking- with kids. And they had to start, like, killing- like, getting rid of them. Because they was doing that shit with- like, kids? With the kid- with the- with the children? Yo, it's, it's crazy. It's they just like after me for a pack real? of stray dogs mauled a baby monkey, and the monkey mafia took it very personal. But we actually don't know for sure what caused this mass puppy homicide. Primates will often feed on the ticks living on animals of different species. So it's possible the monkeys weren't trying to get revenge, but were only after the ticks on the dog's fur. But there's also a chance that Cloudy with a chance of puppy was 100% intentional. Especially <laughs> since that seems to be a signature move for them. Earlier this year in India, a yeah. troop of monkeys jumped a family and snatched their four-month-old son, and who they proceeded to throw off a three-story building. In Crazy. a separate attack, monkeys broke into a home and dragged away a two-month-old who had been sleeping next to his grandfather. The same monkeys ended up drowning him in a water tank. Yeah, monkeys can be malicious when they want to be, but look, anyone look, in Japan look. will tell you that. Cause right now, look, you see, did you see? Yo, he was trying to get rid of, like, get rid of the baby. They be wilding. They be, yo, they, I'm telling you, they wilding. What the hell is? What is this? Yeah, they. A Japanese city is currently under attack by a gang of Japanese macaques. Since July, nearly 60 people have been attacked and injured in the city of Yamaguchi, 60? and the monkeys tend to go after babies, small children, and the elderly. You know, the light work of the population. And the thing is, the traps they set aren't working because the monkeys don't seem to be after food. 
They're just doing it. And yeah, while this could be a coincidence, there's also a good chance this is revenge. See, monkeys and really primates in general have a sense of fairness and will lash out when they feel like they've been wronged. In experiments with capuchin monkeys, scientists found that when given unequal portions of food, the monkeys would seem to target and punish the individual that got the unfair share. It actually makes sense for a social animal to actively discourage inequity in the group. But when a monkey feels cheated, it becomes a much more dangerous monkey. In another experiment, one capuchin was given a grape while another was given a cucumber. Despite previously being happy with the cucumber, the monkey seemed to get offended when he saw his peer get a grape and refused to take the cucumber. He even started to become aggressive with his handler, so yeah, primates don't like Yo, being slighted. If you don't this nigga said, you giving niggas grapes? The cucumber was cool, but you over there giving this nigga a grape? Yo, he's... he's <laughs> Wait, bro. He even started to become aggressive with his handler. So yeah, primates don't like. Oh my god, bitch! Let me show you. Let me out. Let me show you something. You want to give niggas grapes? Fucking bitch. Like <laughs> feeling slighted. If you don't believe me, jealousy and a birthday cake got this man mutilated by a pair of chimps. So I can't tell you exactly what started the monkey war in Japan, but I can tell you they probably have a reason. Speaking of reason, yeah, I, I kind of had to talk about that. So you probably know the story, but recap. An elephant traveled over 100 miles from a sanctuary and trampled a 70-year-old woman collecting water. Bro, Only for that same elephant to show up to her funeral and further desecrate her corpse, and this time in front of her entire grieving family. Now, I know I say this a lot on this channel, it's become one of my popular phrases, but this time someone literally got turned into a hashtag. Now, a lot of people have claimed that this woman was involved in poaching, and this was just the elephant playing equalizer. I don't want to say that because we don't know for sure, and there's a good chance the woman was just at a worse place at an even worse time for the elephant to show up and turn her into a trend. But here's what we do know. Asian elephant Elephants often come into close contact with people, especially farmers, and conflicts often get them injured or put on a shirt. We know Asian elephants often get exploited for logging, entertainment, and poaching, so they have a reason to hate anything human. And we know an elephant doesn't forget. And it wasn't too long ago when an elephant in Thailand ripped a grown man in half and stood over the soul evacuated body for hours after that same man forced him to haul logs in the intense heat. So we know elephants oh ain't quick God. to forgive either. So with this story, we'll never know for sure if there was cause or coincidence, but let me put it this way. A hundred miles and a guest appearance at a funeral is one hell of a coincidence. But a hundred... The, the, the elephant went 124 miles from where the attack was to stomp on the grave during the funeral. You have to be deterred. What the fuck did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Nigga, right. He was dedicated, bro. He was just pushing the sex. Shut up. But like, what did you do, bro? <laughs> I am vengeance. <laughs> That's gonna do it for this video. For more consistent content, be sure to follow my TikTok and Instagram. I try to post daily on both. And to watch videos before I post them, kindly consider becoming a patron on Patreon. Also be sure to check out my book, 100 Animals That Can Effing End You. The title kind of speaks for itself. But other than that, drink water, hug your mother, and, and you know what, actually your father too. He might not say it, but he'll appreciate it. Don't cross an elephant, cause he might just traumatize your entire family. And I'll see you in the next one. Banger. Nothing but bangers from Casual Geo. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but bangers. Nothing but bangers. Solid. Solid man. Solid man. But, uh, yeah, man. What did Shorty do to that elephant? That's all I'm saying. That's it. That's my only question. Let me bit, though.